everybody a uh, quick review of the oppo reno 4g uh, which is a 5g um handset not that that particularly means anything to me or i'm particularly bothered about but mainly so mainly the phone um i've never really heard of oppo in the uk um i know when i was in the philippines i did see various different brands and oppo was one of them uh, but they're here now on the shores of the uk and they've probably been here for a long time i imagine so this particular one is 249 pounds so we're probably only talking a mid-range uh phone uh, from argos uh plus you can get it from various of various other places like amazon as well so i just want to tell you briefly about the specs because it's not it's not too bad actually for that price point so quickly why i bought this particular phone mainly because when we were on a trip in cornwall Melissa's phone actually died on it. Uh, Samsung phones. There's another Samsung product that's died. Uh, we had a TV break in the first 12 months. And a phone goes well in the, in the first 14 months of ownership. So really disappointed there with Samsung. What's going on? Even though I say that recording this on an S10 Plus. Um, which now, so Melissa has the S10 Plus, which I'm recording this on. And I have the, the Oppo. Um, I didn't want to buy another Samsung. Um, twice bitten, you know, and all that. You feel a bit cautious about going down the road of Samsung again. So hence, I thought I'd give this Oppo a try. So it's a mid-range phone. Uh, again, £250, so I'm not expecting too much from it. But the specs pack quite, quite a whack for that kind of price. And a quick note to say inside the box, you also get case which is quite nice and it comes with a screen protector built in which is quite nice so specs wise you're talking an 8 gig which is quite good same 8 gig as the s10 plus the samsung s10 plus plus so 8 gigs 128 gigs of storage uh, it's a 5g handset uh, if that floats your boat 4000 mah battery um, 48 megapixel camera there's four cameras on the back there as you can see it's released uh 2020 october time it is a dual sim which is good for work which means i can put two sims in uh, personal and work related uh, 6.57 inch ips lcd screen uh, it's not an amoled but i didn't mind actually uh what a bit of a break from amoled actually so 5.7 inch ips lcd is 120 uh, hertz in scrolling so when you scroll it's nice and smooth uh, 401 ppi pixel density which is okay it's not as high as the samsung uh, s10 plus which is rocking a lot higher 552 because that is a dynamic amoled but still pretty good um, and you've got gorilla glass free to protect it on the corners in case you have a bit of a knock uh, chipping it is a media tech Dynasty, never heard of MediaTek, but I believe they've been around for a while. Apparently, 800 chip, and it is octa-core, octa-core, so it should have a should have the ability to handle some degree of multitasking. 4K video, 30 frames per second, not 60 frames. Uh, it's only 30 frames, but that's fine. At least it's still 4K. Side mounted, mounted fingerprint, which is pretty good. Um, fast charging at 18 watts so i think there's faster than 18 watts but that is still pretty good i mean i can plug this in and 45 50 minutes later i'm pretty much uh, um full battery and the battery is 4000 meh on the s10 plus we had i think it was 4100 on the battery so this is just slightly low at four so 4000 meh and it's fast charging at 18 watts weight wise uh, 184 grams very very slightly higher than the samsung which was 175 grams so marginally more on the weight um yeah there are the specs so it's an 8 gig basically uh mediatek octa-cure uh chip and of course you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and obviously the side mounted fingerprints and it looks a nice phone it's got a bit of a half decent premium feel to it it's got a nice pearl thing going on pearl effect on the back feels a little bit of quality there 
you can see where they've put the screen on slightly raised ever so slightly if you can make that out well that's fine i'm okay with that it's still pretty much polished off nice nicely not quite as polished off as a samsung s10 plus but to be fair that it was like a 700 pound phone and this is a 250 pound phone so i can't expect the same level of uh, build quality as a samsung it's completely flat which is what i like it's not curved i found the curved displays a bit annoying after a while great at first in something like the s7 edge uh, when they first came out or even the s6 edge it's like oh my god curved glass beautiful but after a while it became annoying trying to find a screen protector that fitted perfectly when you get something flat like this it's okay because you know the screen protector is not going to be troublesome especially around the edges um it's a nice display it's only a 401 ppi pixel density um like i say the samsung was something like 522 ppi so with that being a dynamic amoled the colors on the samsung pop a lot more they're a lot more brighter and deeper but even on this um ips um lcd you know what it's okay it really is okay you don't look at it and see the pixels and think oh my god it's really pixelated um it's been absolutely fine in terms of the display so in terms of day-to-day -day usability i find this a nice phone to get into side mounted fingerprint is just a breeze to just sort of get into get into easily there's no dramas there and the face recognition in terms of the performance of the 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 chip and the ram i've i've not had a problem with it at all um it's been it's been fine i've done everything that i would have done on the samsung absolutely no problem at all i have caught it freezing once or twice when i've said like i'd say i've done like video processing like this video i will make on this phone when i get like say six clips and i'm editing them together to make one giant clip to upload to youtube it might freeze um once or twice when i start adding text or transitions between the video clips but we're talking like high-end video editing it might show like some sign of a little like a freeze but to be expected because it's at the end of the day it's like a 250 quid mid-range phone i can't expect the kind of performance of something like the higher end phones like an s10 plus on something like um a mid-range but generally other than that i find it's been absolutely fine i've not entered or encountered a time where it's really froze I'm really stuck and kind of gone what's going on here and i've had to reset things that's not happened um and I've had this phone now about three weeks and already I've got it up to about 90 gigabytes um, on the RAM. Sorry, on the storage. I've filled it pretty much like 70% of its capacity because um, I've got a lot of content I need to delete. But performance wise, I found it okay. I was saying final summary for me. Um, I'm happy with this phone. Um, first, first experience of Oppo, I found it. I found it really good and um, it's done everything I needed to do and more I've not kind of encountered any problems the camera's been good taking photographs have been great it's been quite silky in the movement because 120 hertz battery life's been pretty good as well um, it will last me the full day and that's quite intensive usage through the day I'll get to 7 p.m. in the evening and I'll have like 30 35 percent left um, and that's after being quite intensive use through the day. I've not encountered a situation where I've needed a second charge through the day. It's lasted me the day. Absolutely. Uh, no problems at all with the battery life. And um, like I say, other than a couple of couple of freezes, when I've been doing quite intensive video editing, other than that, I found it to be a really great phone. So, yeah, £250. Um, Oppo or any 4G, uh, 5G phone. I can't I can't say what's like with the five G because I I only have a four G sim, so I don't know what the five G experience is like. But certainly I found it fast enough in my area. So yeah, there we have it. If you're looking for a I guess mid range budget phone, 
give Oppo a try. And thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Um, much appreciate your time as always.